Hey guys, uh, Leah here. So, since we've been painting on things for the past couple of weeks, we decided that this week we're just going to make a regular painting with the usual deep meaning behind it. So, enjoy, enjoy the video! So the first thing we did was we went around the whole painting and created a border. And as you can see on the edges here, there were some smudges from a previous painting where the paint just leaked through the pages. So we just went over with some white paint and cleaned that all up. And then afterwards we could start drawing the actual picture. And you can see over here, I'm just starting with the bow of the bow and arrow. And then quickly moving on to the actual arrow and then forming the arrow head. Now I didn't want to make the arrowhead all pointy and sharp because I was really trying to go for a very like, um, I was trying to make it look like it was a stone, you know, because they used to use stones for arrowheads back in the day. You know, I was trying to go for that kind of look. Um, and then I just went around and I drew this ribbon around it, like that's how the stone is tied on. And for some reason it really just reminded me of a, a ballerina slipper. <laughs> I'm not the only one that sees that, right? After adding all the small details to the bow, uh, I went onto the sides and just added a few feathers in the corner. I don't know why, I just felt like that would be a nice touch. And from there, I started on writing the words that were going to be in this painting. Finally, it was time for my favorite part of the painting, the painting. Starting off with this blue-gray color, we were going to fill in the background with it. Unfortunately, I mixed so much of this color or I knew I'd need more, so I had to transfer it into a bigger space. But once that issue was solved, I went in and started painting the whole background. Normally when I paint my first layer, it's always a bit watered down so I can still see the lines through it. Um, and then afterwards I just keep applying more and more until eventually I can't see the lines or can barely see them. Then I just draw them on again and then finish off with whatever layers I still need to put on. This is when I started going in and started uh, filling in the colors of the bow and arrow. For the arrowhead, I chose blacks and greys to, you know, show a bit more that it is a stone on the end of that arrow. And as for the actual bow and arrow, I went in with uh, various shades of browns and yellows. And unfortunately, this painting was, you know, just one of those paintings that looks like it's going to be really quick and easy, but in the end it's not. Like, time just flies while you're painting this thing. When I was done painting the red ribbon on the actual arrow head, I went around to the rest of the bow and painted the string that is supposed to be wrapped around the rest of the bow. I don't know why, I keep wanting to call this thing a ribbon. Pretty soon I went in and started dry brushing uh, some very light shadings on all the areas before going in and adding a few more harsh uh, shadows and highlights. This is when I started going in and painting in the feathers and I really tried to uh, give the feathers a rough kind of look, not really perfect, you know, to really exaggerate that feathered look. This is where I came in with my design and I wanted it to look like it was carved into the bow. While I was doing this, Alia was painting in the words. This painting was inspired by a scripture that the Lord blessed me with. 2 Kings 13 verse 14 to 17. 
It speaks about a war going on and how the prophet of God, Elisha, gets sick and is on his deathbed. The king is weeping beside the prophet's bed, fearful of the war and now losing the prophet who would speak to the Lord for him. The prophet, in his last moments of life, goes on to tell the king to fire an arrow out the east window of the room. He then calls that arrow the Lord's arrow of deliverance, signifying that the Lord would be with the king and bring the kingdom to victory. I truly felt the Lord say that his arrow of deliverance is about to fire into the hearts of those who need said freedom. This could be freedom from all kinds of things, from health issues to financial issues, problems with family, problems with work, anything. If you have anything that needs deliverance, now is the time to pray for the Lord to shoot his arrow of deliverance into the heart of the situation going on and bring forth his deliverance. Then wait, wait and trust and watch God move. Remember the border Alia put around the painting? Well, I started to draw my design inside of her. Since this was taking a while, I started helping out Leah with her design. This was under her supervision, of course. When the border was finished, the painting was complete. This video was a lot of fun to create. If you'd like to see more videos like this, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to see more painting updates and a little bit behind the scenes of these kinds of paintings, make sure to find us on TikTok and Instagram at Alia Ascends. Have a good day, everybody. Goodbye. You're shaking the thing, it's gonna move out of place. Okay, ready? One.